Hello everybody. This video is about Ecuador versus Dominican Republic, and it's about our five reasons why Ecuador is better than the DR. We traveled and vacationed to Santa Domingo and Boca Chica Beach back in 2004. We spent two weeks checking out the place, and honestly, it was a huge disappointment for our family. And we're going to tell you why below as we compare the Dominican Republic to Ecuador. But first, we want to say that the DR beaches are very pretty. Most of the locals are nice, and back then the tourist hotels were pretty good price too. We stayed right on the Boca Chica Beach for something like $45, in a pretty nice hotel too. Santo Domingo has a lovely colonial city also with lots of tourist attractions and neat little eateries and shops. But after two weeks we had seen enough and we were ready to go back home and we all agreed we'd never go back to the DR because we had a kind of a bad feeling about the place and that was 14 years ago. As you know, we dispel the overstated promotions that seem to invade the internet. This is one promotion that really needs to be called out. Dominican Republic is rather scary, kind of dirty, and a shady place, and it's not cheap anymore, which would be the least of your worries when going there. Here's our five reasons why Ecuador is better than the DR. Number one, Dominican Republic is crime-ridden. When we were there in 2004, they had young boys in uniforms, I guess they were cadets, come out in the evening to line the touristy restaurant area. About every 50 feet there would be a teenage boy wielding a baton just in case chaos ensued. Obviously they had young lads police the area because it needed to be policed and because of a lack of real police force. Doing the research for the area, we find that crime rates have gotten worse against foreigners since we were there. We feel safe in Ecuador. Ecuador actually has real police taking their job seriously. Ecuador has improved greatly in the tourist areas for expats. If an expat has a bad crime experience in Ecuador, it's probably going to be because they made themselves a target in some way. In short, Ecuador has way less crime against tourists and expats than the Dominican Republic. By the way, as far as local crime goes, according to the website list25.com, the DR is in the top 25 countries with the highest murder rates. Dominican Republic is number 18. Ecuador is not on the list. Number 2. Prostitution is legal in the Dominican Republic. In the evening, the restaurants in the tourist area of Boca Chica put tables outside on the street, and scantily clad women constantly walk by your dinner table while you're trying to eat. They also walk inside the restaurant, so you really can't get away from it. We were told first account stories by foreign men who were robbed blind by prostitutes, credit cards and all. This next one might astonish you. Number three. Dominican Republic has a huge, huge sex trafficking problem, and some of the foreigners who go there are part of the problem. Take a look at these screenshots we took from an article dated back from June 2017, six months ago. Yes, there's exploitation of children and women in Ecuador too, but on a small, small scale, and it's not in your face either. Who in their right moral mind would want to spend their beach vacation 
watching old perverts prey on young women and children on the beaches. It's rather disgusting, really. What was the retire abroad media thinking when they promoted this place? Unbelievable. Number four. Dominican Republic is not cheap. Ram says you can live well in the DR for $13.55. Bullshit, we say. Please see one of our latest videos titled, This is Bullshit, Dominican Republic for $13.55. We all know that you would have to go local to live on this in the DR. You can still find a rental or a property for much less in Ecuador. And Ecuador has a family atmosphere with welcoming people. Number five, Dominican Republic has terrible infrastructure. When we say terrible, we really mean it. Travel vloggers complain on YouTube about the terrible internet, if you can get internet. And retirees complain about not having electricity for hours and hours at a time. Here's some interesting input that says that the Dominican Republic does not have the infrastructure we do in North America. This is from this year. So guys, you know that I always like to show you and confirm every chance that I get. This complex now, this is a $1,200 apartment on the beach. It offers you 24-hour security and, and they have to reassure you that it has electricity. So what does that tell you? Ecuador is becoming better with infrastructure, especially in the tourist areas. And Ecuador now has fiber optics in the off-the-beaten-path neighborhoods of Salinas, Ecuador. Final note, we've traveled the whole country of Ecuador and have never, ever had a bad feeling like we did about the DR. And as we all know, how we feel about a place is the make or break decider for a country that we might want to live in permanently. Let's just put it this way. The atmosphere, even during the day, in the DR is not for most people, let alone families. Of course, this is our experiences and research, but thought we'd let you all know. Take care, guys. Until next video, adios, amigos.